How's this for a little higher education? Today on The Express, the students are the teachers. On today's show, <laughs> the physics of fun at SFU in Burnaby. <laughs> We've got 26 different quizzes that you can unlock. Silicon Sisters' new game, School 26. So many of the games that we've built are about male fantasy. And I started wondering what would it look like to, to change that. Put the wrist up too. Academy Duello's Night Camp. It's one of the cool things. You get to make your own shields at home and bring them here. And you should definitely get into it. Everyone should. ICBC's 180 Short Film Contest. See that and more local expression. Welcome to The Express. I'm Joe Hanaward. We have no shortage of talented youth in our community or tricked out topics. That's me trying to sound hip, right? But seriously, on today's show, we have Girl Gamers, a teen film contest, a medieval camp for kids, and up first, it's a physics workshop here at SFU in Burnaby. A special one because it's just for girls, and the girls are only in high school. <laughs> girls and their gadgets. It's not a sight you see every day, but these girls are crazy for wires and circuits at the Girls Exploring Physics Workshop at SFU. There's always this issue of not wanting to appear too smart when you're in high school. This workshop encourages girls to embrace their intelligence and get hands-on experience in building and creating, and even to consider a career in physics. A lot of girls take physics in high school, but not a lot choose to major in physics at the university level. There are a lot of misconceptions, yeah, about physics, yeah. Um, and I think that's part of it. Um, and then a lot of people are like, oh, I don't know what to, what would you do with physics as a career? That's a question we get a lot. But there's a lots of lots of things you can do with physics. It's like interesting because it's how like everything moves and works. I like like trying out new things and like making stuff. See, there we go. Yeah. Today, their main project is building LED flashlights. They're wiring up what we call a parallel circuit with two switches so they can light one bulb or the other bulb or both. What the girls are doing is they have these little plastic boxes and they're taking two different color LEDs and they're wiring them up. Essentially, they're using a battery as a power source and they're using a couple of what we call resistors which basically reduce the current flow so they don't um, blow out their LEDs. Well, I've learned a lot about like light and how electricity works and connecting all the cables to make energy. Well, there's so many things we still don't understand about the world. We're still discovering, we're still learning a lot about our universe, we're still learning a lot about subatomic particles. So, there's, so I like the idea that I would be contributing to learning new things about the universe. I'm Erin Shaw in Burnaby for The Express. It doesn't hurt as much on your that doesn't hurt at all. SFU plans to run another physics workshop for girls in October, and they're hoping to have the funding to continue the program for the next couple of years. Now, our next feature on the Express is also all about the girls. Silicone Sisters Interactive is an all-female owned and operated video game studio. And if that's not cool enough, get this. Their first release is called School 26, where empathy is the key to winning. With titles like Call of Duty, Mortal Kombat, and WWE SmackDown, it's safe to say the video game industry is as macho as the Macho Man. So we've got 26 different quizzes that you can unlock during the game. The number of female gamers is growing, which is why developers at Silicon Sisters Interactive are getting in touch with their feminine side. Really, so many of the games that we've built are about male fantasy. And I started wondering what would it look like to to change that and to really build games that were about female fantasy and what does that even look like? Well, like this game, School 26, the company's first title which will be released as an app for the iPhone and iPad. The game is based around Kate, a teenager who is trying to make friends at a new school. The kids in the school, like in most high schools, are facing some pretty big challenges. And what Kate does is help them solve those issues. And um, it's a really interesting game because the primary mechanism that you use to do that is empathy, which is a, an unusual tool in a video game. School 26 also touches on issues such as bullying, peer pressure, and sexuality. The point of the game is not necessarily to teach kids lessons, but to allow them to explore real-life situations. 
Any time you play a game, you're sort of reflecting on the skills you have in life and playing them out in a game and exploring different outcomes that you can have with that. Um, so kids use uh, empathy and, and emotional responses to get different responses from the characters and build friendships or alienate, depending on what you choose. Silicon Sisters calls itself the first female-owned and run gaming company. Their aim is to reach out to girl gamers by providing titles that speak to them. I like games with strong characters and story and uh, I've had a hard time finding games like that in the past for myself that weren't like made in Japan so uh, it's really cool to be working on one now. This could be the start of something big, with female players now making up 40% of the gaming population, catering to their demands is simply smart business. I'm Tim Chung in Vancouver for The Express. School 26 will be released in April. To get more information on the game and the company, you can go to siliconesisters.ca. You're watching The Express, and we've got more ways that youth can get in the game, that being the game of life, coming up. After the break, the rest up too. Academy Duello's Night Camp for Kids. We challenge each other to do different kinds of fighting and stuff. It's really awesome. Stuart, how are you doing in your trip? Kenneth Gordon Maplewood School. The school, I don't have to ask as many questions because I'm understanding more. You're watching local TV on the Express. Community programming on Shaw has been generously sponsored in part by The Express is brought to you in part by Plum, fashion supplier to host Johanna Ward.